Hey everyone, Yasity here, welcome back. Heading back into the Darkest Dungeon today, and we're hoping to get those Iron Crowns activated. I thought a lot about this and figured out a group that's kind of similar, but yeah, I think we'll bring enough damage to the table to get the job done this time around, so we'll see what happens. Um, once again, just way overstocking on the supplies that we can potentially have because I saw what happened the last time and I still felt underprepared and I still got my butt handed to me. Just being OCD about a little bit here. And we got torches, we got... Actually, I'm going to bring more torches. And then we're also going to bring some bandages. The thing has no name, for it needs no language. Nevertheless, those who would submit to its word this will are rewarded in a fashion. The creature's blessings are as repulsive as they are robust. Twisted, half-human monstrosities stalk the flesh-ridden halls, protecting their gestating god. So it looks like the map is going to be the same. Flesh. It crawls steadily upward from the pit, supported by the lattice of Cyclopean pillars. Looks like the fights are going to be the same. Alright, so we're going to start just by tearing everything apart that we can. Um, which basically means I'm going to point blank this growth while going in long range otherwise. I really wish we didn't have to have these talismans because everything would go so much faster otherwise, but it is what it is. I'm going to make sure he can't do anything with a stun this time around, which didn't work, but it is what it is. Almost one hitting that. And, once again, lighting them. Let's take him out before he can do anything. Give them no quarter. He dies on his next turn, only leaving the second row. So we can heal up while focusing on first priest. Alright, I think this should be manageable. I uh, will incision him for some damage. I think he'll go down this turn no matter what. Alright, there we go. So I'm still assuming that there's one in every row. Like, one this way, one this way, one this way, and we know where the one this way is. That's why I'm getting it out of the way first. Just so I can test this group against it. Alright, so... I kind of want to leave that cultist alive to heal up a little bit, so we'll see what happens. The A aren't doing as much damage as I would like with the point blank because I can't buff their damage and their accuracy, but that is what it is. We can at least get rid of the growth. Now putting everything else in range. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of him. Point blank, meaning I can point blank again, healing off. Oh, that just hurt so much, and so much stress. Alright, there we go. 
Gotta use one of those bandages on him. Also healing up a little bit. And driven into the mud. Alright, so I am tempted to use one of these firewoods, but at the same time we know there's two more fights like that. So I'm just gonna go with it. What happens, happens, and if I lose another group, I I just know that <laughs> we're not fit for this. Alright, so right away I'm gonna duelist advance spam, trying to get the impaler down. And like I said, we're gonna try to get the impaler down, but I am going to emboldening vapor on them. And that looking at that it can chunk them out pretty good. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Alright, she needs to heal everyone. The plan was for him to point blank. He has the vapors on. Actually, he does, so... Him being stunned, we're just gonna do it on him again. And he can't attack back because of being stunned. And heal up. One down. Oh boy. Oof. Okay, that's not great, but we can live with it. As long as I get a chance to heal, you know. Which actually might not come before he has chances to do things. Okay, healing. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. That attack back. Now the true test. That damage over time is gonna be bad. Okay, do or die. Cursed champion falls. Reorder before I forget. Do this. Heal him. Eat food. Save his life. Probably eat with him, save his life, and now we need to save that food. Hand of Glory. Now I'm gonna go north, see what I can find there. Okay. And if we don't find anything in these areas, we know it's back here. But I just have the biggest feeling that there's one in each area. Really want to camp now. How many fights was one there, one there? And I. After this first room, let's camp. Lighting them. I think that'll be enough just to do the job. Um, let's open a vein so we can point blank and take him out. To a killing blow. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need to de-stress here.
Okay. Kind of interesting that they don't hurt themselves while doing that, but that is what it is. Just point blank so we can get to everything else better. And they're gone. Great. Injury and despondence. Oh. Set the stage for okay. Heroism. Alright, let's do this so we can get him better. Point blank taking him out, that's gonna de-stress. And healing. Because we really need to do that. One down. And two down. Alright. I'm not going to use a torch here because, like I said, we're camping in here. This is going to do the same thing. All right. Um. Yeah. Firewood. Circle in the dark. The battle okay. Be won. If mortality debuff minus stress and heal, we're taking that. Um. I can get rid of stress, or I can up their damage. That's a hard one. I guess Gallo's humor? And then with him, we'll actually know front... Who's faster? Him. We'll clean guns. As the light gains purchase, All right, so technically that was to the right. right. So let's see if that follows suit. I just want to see if there's a pattern here. What in the unholy hell? Alright, well, let's blight it then, just to take it out. It resisted great. 33% guard. Well, that's one way to take it out. But that's a full round dedicated to it. Okay, that's not great. Really need these priests to go down. And so I'm going to try stunning one of them. Let's do this to take him out faster. That stress buildup, man, it's not great. This is why we brought bandages. Taking him out, crit will help with stress. And if I can. S now we need to heal. And can we take him out? Masterfully executed. Come on. Ooh, nice de-stressing too. All right. Let's get back in order if we need to. No. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy fall. Okay, so this is either something or it's nothing, depending upon what suit is followed. Survey says... It's a relic. Alright, well, let's um, get this going. I think this will be more important. Light them if I can. Okay. And repost again. All right. One down. And blood. That's not great. 
little bit of de-stressing. I'll take what I can get. Let's blade him again. Um, can't hit him, so let's try to take this thing out. I don't think I can bleed it, but that should take it out on its next turn. What does that do? Oh! Okay. Yeah, it's a good thing we're taking that out. Well, that's a good chunk out of it. Alright, healing. Okay. We got this, I just need to play a little smart. I could do damage to it, we would be fine, but that's a little out of the question. So what we can do is try to get rid of this corpse. Do a little song and dance here. That's down. Healing. One more left, and I'm hoping our highwayman goes first. Nope. Alright. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm guessing the fight I need is beyond there. If only treasure could staunch the flow of use that so we don't bleed out. And we got to go back, and we have two more battles, so I'm not sure that's going to last. Shoot. I think I have the outlay of this place in my head. So there should be a room this way, and I think there's going to be another room down here that we need to go to. Or I could be totally wrong, you know. Kind of surprised there wasn't a fight there. But there was a fight here, that's why. And that is very not good. We'll get rid of this first one. Lighting this back thing to take it out faster. And I stun it. I can. Okay, the first one's down. A little bit de-stressed. These things can't stress us out unless they crit. But they can stun us, okay. Alright, I'll take that, more de-stressing, and we get a buff and a repost. Let's heal up, just because we can. Next turn, the growth goes down. <laughs> Meaning I can focus everything on the gr they're both growths. The malignant. A devastating Healing. And let's see if we can get more stress down. Because that's really what we need right now. Alright, if we don't get it in this round, we're a little boned. Okay. May we find victory. Okay, here it is, and Flesh Hounds along with a Warlord. Alright, that's not as bad of a fight. So let's get this stuff going. Um, hopefully actually taking out the Flesh Hounds first, so there's less things to deal with, I think. And then I'll Blight him. If I can. Oh no. Okay. That's exactly what I was hoping for. I forgot to uh, emboldening, but that's fine. 
quality clarified in a single strike. I don't think I can duel us advanced from that role, so we'll have to back up. Have her heal because we need that. Probably could have stunned, but that's fine. Almost take one of those little guys out. You leave her alone. Alright, let's emboldening. Heal. Point blank to take one of these little guys out. I know that's not getting the repost on him at all, but that's fine. As long as it hits someone other than the Vestal, we're fine. And he's gonna lose this, so we're gonna do this for now. Emboldening him again. And this way we can duelist on him. And we can duelist on the other one next turn. I was afraid of this. Only a little bit for now. They're not doubling up and doing it to her every turn. Okay, they both have it on them. Incision. I think he'll go down to bleed now. So heal. Alright, that's what you get, buddy. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. So we're going to follow our footsteps. And after a fight, maybe I will hopefully be able to use the campfire and I really gotta stop doing that I know you can hear it because I hear it while of recording um I will probably camp on this first room or the second room there and then hopefully that will lead us to the third iron what is it iron crown and then we'll be finished, and then I guess this group is done in the darkest dungeon as long as I succeed. Which, things can still go very downhill. I've seen how fast things can go downhill here. Speak of the devil, two very high stress things. Alright, one down. You know, I'd rather him attack her, to be honest. <laughs> Another one down. We're gonna try to stun him, actually. Didn't work. Alright, following up, let's just take him out as ASAP. I don't have a way of de-stressing in a fight other than crits, so they basically have to crit to de-stress, which means just demolishing him. A trifling victory. Kind of disappointed victory we don't get anything from fights, but at the same time, I guess I understand it. Um, if my guess is right, we have to go south, because I think that north is going to link up with whatever this is and give us another ancestor relic. I should have camped. I'll camp in this next room and see if my theory is correct. The light, the promise of safety. Okay. Gotta be a little careful here. We're going to... Yeah, blight them both. That'll get them whittled down a little bit. Going to... Duelist Advance, try to get the Malignant Growth down. That'll get us a little bit of attack back too. 
which will hopefully either get us de-stressing a little bit and whittling them down. And it will also bypass any guard he puts up. And then she can just be on curing duty, I think. Because we're obviously gonna need it. Yeah, we're we're gonna need it. There's some. Doesn't outweigh the damage that was done to us, but that's fine. Uh, six. Yeah, if any more damage is done to them and they're blighted, they're dead. Leaving us with just these two. So, I think what I'm gonna do is try to take out the Cultist Priest here. And then a point blank should take out the growth. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Oh no. No 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 not. Thank you. Good man didn't. Of in the eye of the storm. That's probably gonna ride us all the way through this. That might not. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness. I understand being paranoid. Yo, I don't want him dying. He's kind of integral to this. That's fine, less of a chance of him getting hit. We will blight him just to try to take him out. Point blank, killing this. And that, now hopefully he has enough damage over time, taking him out. We are good. Oh. Okay. First of all, healing. Second, campfire. Beast for stress. If mortality debuff, heal and stress down. Melee damage skills and accuracy. Clean guns. I think that clean guns is going to be better for this. Because while I'm going... Okay, they're all at full health. While being able to repost is good, and that's a huge damager, uh, just being able to blow their faces off is going to be bigger. <laughs> For lack of better phrasing. And there it is, like I thought. What are those? Alright, so like I said, we're gonna emboldening them. Just get that damage up. The blood quickens. Um I guess we're going to do this. And we had the hardest fight first, it looks like. Which might have been a good thing. All right. Yeah, we're we're gonna duelist advance and try to take these things out. And it's fine that he was hit by that. She can anti venom heal. If he does any. Okay, that's fine too. Duelist advance, trying to take that thing out again. Lighting them, taking one out, hopefully getting that on the other so I don't have to worry about it as much. Alright, let's point blank and get that thing down. He's already afflicted, that's fine. She moves back. That gets his attack back, we're good. Now, he's the one I was hoping for. We're gonna do this to get him in front. We're going to do this to blight them both. Hopefully that hits. And damage over time should take him down, if this doesn't. 
intrinsic merit. Unless That's why I like that team. <laughs> Too bad I can't use them for what I really wanted. Quest complete, go back to Hamlet. Good on them. Okay. Bad Gambler, Natural Eye, Fear of Beast. Not that we're going to be able to use them again, but that is what it is. The maniacal cultists are quelled for a time, but there can be no celebration. Your progress is measured only in progressive realization and dawning horror. You are in the shadow of the end. Only have one more team. And I need to activate a Locust Beacon now? Let me think here. I could probably pull off something really stupid. And maybe work this out, but I'm not entirely sure it actually will work. I would actually feel a lot better if I had a slightly different party. So what I think I'm going to do is go in with these guys who I think will be fine using the flagellant as a healer, which I'm not sure how that's going to work, to be honest. Uh, does it say anything about needing... No, it doesn't. And, oh, this is going to be a very long one, it looks like. So, uh, I might not do... What in the unholy hell? Since I can't use her, well, any of them, I'm going to take their trinkets once again so I have them for future use. What happened to his other trinket once again? Oh, it went right there, okay. And I'm going to gear everyone else up and really, and possibly put one more group together because it doesn't sound like this is the last one and i'm for sure going to need another group then if that's not the last one and i don't feel comfortable with this kind of ragtag group with only two veteran level or uh resolve levels resolve level six heroes and no actual healer and one guy who's kind of gimped if he doesn't have someone healing although i suppose he could do damage if someone was stunning that is a thought so i'm yeah once again i'm gonna take a look around see what we can do next time we will take on the next very long version the longest dungeon i've seen probably other than what would be considered epic of the darkest dungeon and see what we can come up with and hopefully uh if all comes out well we will be up either finishing episode next time or going into the last episode episode after that so um once again with the modded file being on the horizon if you have any suggestions or requests for mods that are going to go into the modded file please leave a comment down below uh, i will look into the mod um, that you put down there and see if i'm already either using it or uh can actually implement it somehow because I, I would really like to see what all I can get in there. And there are just so many of them that it's a little overwhelming for a person doing a first time run. So I have a kind of a list selected so far. But I'm always open to some suggestions like classes, quality of life things, mini bosses, maybe new sections of the game. I've seen a few like that, but I, I don't know exactly what ones to pick as there are just so many. So yeah. As always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please, have a good one.